I used to be vegan for like three years as well. Oh, really? so, so I know the, I know the food. All yeah. oh, right, why aren't you vegan now? Yeah. Are you a vegan? Um, I've got to be honest, no. How long have you been vegan then? I'm actually not vegan anymore. What? Yeah. Nah! <laughs> Oh, have you no, been here yeah. before? Huh? Have you seen this before? Yeah, yeah, I've seen it, I've seen it. I used to be vegan for like three years as well. Oh, really? So, so I know the, I know the thing. Yeah. Oh, really? Why aren't you vegan now? Actually, think what actually happened, I was, I was, what do you call it, like say maybe three, three years into it, yeah? Three years into it, I started having mad dreams. I used to have dreams, I was waking up in cold sweats, like I was eating meat and I was panicking. I was panicking, so I thought, this needs to change. And I was losing so much weight, so like two, so I couldn't balance Balance the food. You weren't, you weren't uh, taking oh. your calories in properly. Yeah, yeah. Have you seen this stuff before? Yeah, I've seen a lot of your stuff, mate. Oh, uh, yeah, have you? Yeah. <laughs> you watch my videos, have you? Yeah, a lot, mate. Oh, yeah. uh, really? Yeah, Are you a, a vegan? Um, I've got to be honest, no. Okay. I was, uh, I went, um, I went to veganism for about a year. Oh, really? And I, I find it good. <laughs> yeah. I don't, I, I'll be honest with you, I find it disgusting. And I, what, there's cruelty yeah, in that? man, I find it absolutely disgusting. And I, I feel like a hypocrite because the only thing I do eat, if I'm honest with you, is chicken. But that, that still makes me a hypocrite because I absolutely have got three cats. I love them to pieces. I love animals. Massive fan of animals. Brings me to tears as a grown 39-year-old yeah. yeah. man if I see cruelty to animals. So I'm a massive hypocrite. Like, I don't believe it. I don't... I don't... I, I couldn't work out whether it was actually you and it is. What, why am I... What am I doing in your town? Literally. <laughs> li no, I was just like... Wow. Hey, brother. Cheers, Cheers mate. Bye. How are you? Good? Good, yeah. Norwich vegan? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Norwich yeah. vegan? I just found another one. Oh, well. Yeah. It's, uh, we're growing. We're growing. We're growing. The, uh, have you so. tried out Moorish falafel? Moorish falafel? I've probably closed now. But, but it sounds Moorish. Unbelievable. Have you had Moorish falafel? I have. You have? Not in a long time. I think I went. I can't remember. It must have been then. How long have you been vegan then? I'm actually not vegan anymore. I promise I am going back on track. Oh, God. What? Yeah. Nah! <laughs> I've already know, lost I've, one I've in this conversation. <laughs> Do you know the farming side of stuff? The farming side of stuff, I'm, I'm not really with that. The way I see eating meat, I said, like, if you're eating it for, for to stay alive, then it's survival. Then it's survival, then it's cool. But if, the way we're doing it now is too much. We're it's, doing it for taste pleasure. Yeah, you pleasure. know what I'm saying? So it's yeah. like, and so much food gets wasted and like. Yeah, they, they, you know, they feed them grains and that. Of course, yeah. and all that as well. People so are starving. 100%. The meat that I get, I get it from farms. I don't get it from supermarkets. So yeah. I get it only from farms, like local farms and stuff like that. So it's, it's, it's good, like they care for the animals and stuff like that. It's not just like stored. So, so, but I understand you lot's view as well. Because uh, you say you just eat chickens. What about the milk and the eggs and that? Um, I don't, I only, as you can see, I have oat. oats. I'll tell you why I eat eggs. From my background, I always had eggs from a free range source, you see. And it was always chickens that were kept by my mum's partner okay, growing yeah. up. Backyard eggs. E absolutely. See okay, that? yeah. So it's absolutely, you see, well, it's free range and it was a byproduct for me. So These you only, you, you go to your mum and get eggs. You don't go, so you're sharing in the shop, like, no, let's just say there's a cake or something, you don't check if it's got eggs in there. I, don't, I wouldn't eat that sort of thing. <laughs> but so like, I know, I know so, so, so in other, yeah, like, so. If you eat to eat, you can't guarantee that, right? Yeah, if you go out to eat, you're not going to be like, I don't eat eggs principally. No. You know. It's like my girlfriend over there, she's vegan. She's, she's vegan. So your girlfriend is vegan and you're, you're somehow not vegan? I know. Okay, no, wait a second, you don't eat animals though, do you? Do you eat animals? Yeah. Like who? Chickens? Or pigs? Everyone? Everyone. Eat all the animals? Now that I think about it, God, yeah. God. Do you think you just slowly fell back into your normal conditioning that you were always accustomed to? I think so. I think, I think it was getting out of sick form, because in sick form it was, a very, it was a very vegan place. So is it more when you're out and about, or...? Yeah. And your family's not vegan, obviously. No. no, I didn't get a lot of support from my family with it. Oh, so how do you feel about it all though? Do you feel bad about it? Gutted. Oh, wow. And I think, not to put this the wrong way, but seeing you, it just made me think, what have you done? What have you done? <laughs> what have you done, girl? I just assumed that you were vegan, and then I was like, oh, uh, course, you dropped the bomb on me. Of course you would, of course you would. Yeah. Why, why wouldn't you? Yeah. Uh, animals are just, they're like us, but they're not as different types of intelligence, but when you look in their eyes, there's someone in there, you know? 100% you can see, yeah, so, and I, lo I do love animals as well, so I, I do, I do get it. I, I get what you're saying, you might go to this local farm sometimes, but when you're out and about, you don't always go yeah, to yeah. the local farm. Yeah. I, I mean, I, I've recently stuck a camera in a local slaughterhouse, to have a look at how they're being killed. Yeah, yeah. And the cows try to escape the knockbox. They're yeah. terrified, there's 
you know, body parts everywhere, and it's yeah. a horrible way to, to get killed when, when it's completely needless. For of like... course, of course. And, and, and the, the thing, what, the thing what I, I thought was, like, you know, like, these the animals are getting slaughtered and that. They, they know that, they know, okay, they're going to be slaughtered and they're going to be killed, so we eat that energy. Like, the adrenaline, they get adrenaline they before they die, uh -huh. the fear. So even if they they got this happy life, like think about this: the, the happier they are, the more of an interest they have in continuing their so, life. And yeah, yeah. Of to, to murder them is more of an injustice. Yeah, yeah. Like if you, if you get if you get like a human being, they've got everything going for them. Yeah, yeah. They're just like they just graduated university. They're really intelligent. They're all happy. They and then yeah. you go up and shoot them in the head. Yeah, People yeah. say, well, that's a tra that's a tragedy. They yeah. were happy, had everything going for them. So the the happier the animal, the more of an injustice it is to kill them. Yeah, yeah. All free range eggs in the commercial sense are still disgusting. Yeah. I absolutely. mean, yeah for, yeah. for many reasons, they macerate the male chicks in the blender or they gas them or they it's horrific. It's absolutely horrific. they gas all the hens and make them into processed chicken and sure. you know so the egg industry is on par or worse than the meat industry yeah. but you know the, it's weird because chickens actually have the same color eyes as you I don't know if you ever looked in the eyes of a chicken they're blue eyes they got little blue eyes yeah they originate from Scandinavia I don't know too <laughs> but they have beautiful little blue eyes oh, okay. and um, there's someone inside of there I know. Yeah. I know. I'm not going to stand here and try and defend, the, you know, the reason I eat meat. I'm not going to do that. I'm yeah. Not... Oh God. And you know what? You know what makes me feel the worst is that I've watched hours of this content, and it's just made me be kind of desensitised to it all. I guess uh, seeing it get yeah. processed. I think. I guess it's different when you um, when you understand that behind their eyes is an individual. Yeah, no, and it's, 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 it guts me even more because I have pet rats and like, you know, they're always killed. Like people, people go, oh, well, I just want to feed your rat to my steak. I just want, like, I know it's not the same because they're not like mass produced and killed, yeah. but it's like, even it, they're, they're still the same and they're still beings that people. They're intelligent little yeah, beings, of course. little non-human people, little blue eyes. And um, especially chickens, they get a really, really hard time. Like the only reason I'm doing this is to get the public's opinion on what's going on yeah, and yeah. try to persuade people who watch the video yeah, to yeah. choose another way. Because yeah, yeah, a, a lot of people's justifications I don't think um, uh, you know, are good enough for this, you know? Of course, of course. And everyone likes to think they get these happy, humane stuff, but yeah, yeah. they really don't. We want things so quick, so it's got Convenience. Like, yeah, so, so that's why they just kill them more, kill them more, kill them more. Even, even these days, it's like, um, I'm in a stage now where like I'm learning to do my own vegetables. Oh, so good. Like, um, That's good. So I've got like I've got a garden and I've sort of planted yeah. my own vegetables because even the vegetables now they're no good. In the they shops. can't be. So they're a lot better than this because. hundred percent. They get all the pesticide build up in them mm. from all the food they eat. Yeah, yeah. You know, if you're just eating the, the food directly, you get a lot less concentration of pesticide yeah, anyway. 100%. But uh, it's the it's the killing and the suffering and the blood that that does it for me, man. It's no, just, no. And we put that in our body. Yeah, yeah. You know? Of course, yeah, yeah. It, this is the thing. It's not just saying I don't eat meat. It's a lifestyle change, isn't it? It's, it's like it's, you change the way you view animals. So you don't see them as vending machines for eggs anymore. You don't no. see them as uh, meat machines. You don't see them as milk machines. Sure. You're changing the way you view them so that society changes the way they view them and no longer commodifies them. Because yeah. as soon as yeah. you see an egg as a food group, that's where factory farms began. Yes. They all they all were backyard eggs at one stage. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And then sure. someone was like, "Hey, you know, I like eggs. I can make I, money. Now, now I'm gonna." Everyone sees an egg as food now, yes. and they have to meet that demand, and they have to have factory farms. But if, until we have a whole paradigm shift, and you stop seeing an egg as food, nothing's gonna Agreed. change. Yeah, I, can't, I can't disagree. Yeah. Every time you today was the day, you eat animals, you're paying for the worst cruelty on earth. Um, there's no way around it. And because you know, like the, a lot of people aren't as aware as you are. So because you have that awareness, like the moral culpability is much higher. Yeah. Because you know how bad it is and then still, that's why I think honestly, it's more like a, an unconscious sort of hab habitual thing maybe you've fallen back into. No, I think it is as well, but it's just, God, I'm mad at myself. You know, you got a happy cow, you know happy cow? <laughs> Do you know what Happy Cow is? Yeah, yeah. You can find yeah, vegan yeah, restaurants yeah. and you've got more options than ever before in the UK. I have Happy Cow on my phone. <laughs> And you've seen the footage and you know what you're doing. I don't even have to have this conversation with you. No, of course not. No, it's... it's... So you rats. Do you have dogs and cats? I have two cats. I don't have dogs. You know, I've been investigating a lot of UK farms recently. And, do, you, uh, do you still go into them? Yeah, I go into the farms all the time here. And they are disgusting, horrible places where there's always sickening suffering and birds just dying on their faces, slowly breathing. You don't know who to rescue. It smells pungent like 
ammonia and feces. And because even like me and my me and my wife was what you call it. We was um we really looked into it. and We slowed everything down. So like now we we will have meat maybe say like once a week or sometimes even more because it's like when you think of it the average person they have like every meal three every three meal. meals a day yeah three meals a day it's meat 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 well if you day. don't have much of it it's easy to kick them brother 100 you know what i mean because you know? if i put the gun in your hand and i had a cow here who, who do you eat cows lambs or chickens who me what, what animals do you eat all the animals yeah yeah most of like them, do yeah. you eat pigs and that um yeah yeah like bacon ham and yeah, yeah, yeah. So if I put these animals in front of you, like yeah. a pig nuzzling you, would you be able to? No, no, that's I know definitely I wouldn't yeah. be able to. No, so that's 100%. what is that? What is that, mate? Because even like I wanted to go fishing, but I know I could fish. Stick it. Stick a hook in a fish's yeah, yeah. face and suffocate and then, them. Uh, yeah, you're yeah, yeah. good-hearted. Yeah, yeah. I hated being a hypocrite myself. Sure. I hated it. Like yeah. I, don't, I don't like it. I don't. I try to be as consistent as I can. Yeah. And I try to better myself. Yeah. But with the with the cruelty to the animals and the suffering of the animals, that was one thing I really had to. Sure. to be consistent about because yeah. I, I couldn't justify being cruel and violent to the innocent for taste pleasure sure oh absolutely like yeah i couldn't agree more like, are we gonna yeah exactly am i gonna sit there and have a burger or a chick you know a piece of chicken or, or, or whatever that be for the taste or am i actually gonna stand up as a man and say this is absolutely immoral it's too bad it's way too bad for me to support like i can't yeah, support no, that I, yeah i agree, I agree. yeah and it, it, you forget about your meal like soon like i don't even yeah. i have to struggle to remember what i had for breakfast two days ago it's gone it's forgotten about yeah. you know the yeah, fact yeah, that yeah. i don't eat meat affects my life zero exactly. like Absolutely. at this point i, I can look around i go oh there's burger king there there's pret there yeah. there's i, I can oh, m s there i know where there's vegan stuff everywhere because i've been yeah, doing yeah. it for so long now sure. it's really easy to get a hang of it <clears throat> yeah, yeah, and now it's just I, I live my life you know what i mean and yeah. i think like people that can't make this small lifestyle change. I'm like, why? Yeah, why? It's exactly. as easy as like, yeah. okay, I'm not gonna grab chicken. I'm gonna learn how to cook the best tofu. Absolutely. Yeah. Marinate yeah. the tofu, yeah. grill the tofu, and it's still keto actually. Tofu. Sure. Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, 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 yeah. And it's full of protein, calcium, yeah, no yeah. cholesterol, Absolutely. really low on saturated fat. Yeah. So it's a really good food tofu actually. Yeah. For that chicken, it's there, and it's a life of suffering and supporting some, something that we're gonna look back in history and go, why did we do that? We, when we have people that know and understand and go vegan. We need them for the animals, like we need them to help change the world. Otherwise, we just like, it's that apathy that, you know, when you get that mundane back into life and you pull away from your social circles that were vegan and you just get sucked back into like the culture. That's where the danger is, the apathy that are uh, like, I'll just mindlessly consume them. I don't really care. That's where, that's what most people do. Mm. So when we get someone who snaps awake, really, the animals really need them. Yeah. Really need him. Like for where like I lived such a fast life, and at the time, like it wasn't as easy when I was doing it, you know. So and I was just like touring all the time. Yeah, yeah, doing, I get you. So it was harder for me to do it. I get you. Know? you. So I, I, I got to the stage where I was, because when I was doing, it, I wasn't, I wouldn't even eat honey, because yeah, you know, yeah. for the bees and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. So I used to pack my meals. Good and, work. Take it, take I, don't, it. I don't go that far. We because now in the UK it's yeah, easy. Now, yeah. But How long like, ago was this when you? I'm talking maybe maybe like 10 years ago. Shit, yeah, bro, oh my God. 10 years ago, and I was yeah, I do. three years. I get you. So it Everything's hard, changed yeah. now, man. I know, I know. It's, but, yeah. but lately, I'm thinking of getting back into it, but just be more on it. You, know? you should be, brother. It's, you're it's, against this stuff, obviously. I can see what you're doing and why you're doing it. I, 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 I support it, yeah, yeah. which I feel bad for because I support it, yet, I, yet I'm a part of it, which mm. is not really what I want. Maybe seeing you today is maybe, yeah. maybe the messages that I've been sort of, you know, telling myself over yeah. the last three or four weeks. Hey, mate. Um, May, you know, maybe that is a case that, um, you know, just seeing you today by chance um, yeah. is something that will make me go away and maybe start. Thank you for today. It's been, I'm not trying to swear, it's, it's been I. It's, maybe, it's, cool. maybe it's a sign. Yeah. Maybe it's your sign to get back on, get back on it. Trust me, mate, I don't need you to tell me. Tonight, yeah. Um, thank you for the information and the resources because um, I think today was what I needed. Okay. Really what I needed. But yeah, it's been lovely to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I hope you have a bloody brilliant day. And thank, thank you. Thank you for all your work. Thank you so much. Take care. Really nice to meet you. Right, take, take care. Take care. See you later.